Velkommen til Films TV. I denne uge udkommer en af årets mest omtalte film, Darren Aronofsky's Black Swan. Natalie Portman vandt i søndags en Golden Globe for bedste kvinde i hovedrolle. Hun spiller balletdanser Nina, som indlader et forskruet venskab med konkurrenten Lily. Og for bedre at kunne personificere rollen som både hvid og sort svane, begynder Nina at komme i kontakt med sin mørke side. sf film har været så venlig at sende os en splinter ny featurette om Aronofsky, samt klip fra filmen og en masse interviews med den skuespiller. Det har vi alle sammen klippet sammen her på redaktionen til ugens Films TV. And... It all started when we were editing um, Requiem for a Dream. A script came in uh, by Andres Hines. It was called The Understudy. It was kind of all about Eve meets the double by Dostoevsky. And I liked it as an idea. And I immediately had the idea that it might be able to transfer into the ballet world. And I always think that that's a really exciting place to set a film is in a setting that is very rich and interesting, but not very visited by movies. We really wanted to make it a visual treat for audiences. The Black Swan stole your love. There's only one way to end the pain. I'm working again with Maddie Libatique, who I worked with on Pi, Requiem for a Dream, and The Fountain. Thank you, Maddie. We took a lot of the energy of what we did on The Wrestler and then sort of connected it to a more luxurious uh, visual sense and kind of created its own look. Black Swan is actually very much a companion piece of The Wrestler. Mickey Rourke as a wrestler is very similar to Natalie Portman as a ballet dancer, and they're both artists that use their bodies, and where age really threatens them, and physical injury threatens them, and the only kind of tool they have is their bodies to express themselves. They look a lot different, but They're kind of united with a similar type of film stock and approach to how we were going to shoot it. I was kind of excited to shoot handheld, to do the entire film handheld so that it had that kind of documentary cinema verite feel. I really liked working with a camera operator who could move because you can move the camera really freely and, and come up with interesting shots. <laughs> My mentor always told me you had to make them laugh, cry, or scare the out of them. And so I wanted to try the scary one. It's got kind of elements of horror, elements of drama, elements of paranoia. Everything kind of connected and, and came together. Six months ago, well, six months before shooting started, um, I started serious ballet training with Mary Helen Bowers, who um, was in New York City Ballet for a really long time. So we just did like five hours a day of ballet and sort of cross training to try and make sure that I wouldn't get injured going into the stuff too quickly because it's so harsh on the body. So um, we did a lot of like swimming and sort of training, weight training as well. I think we both had a lot of, um, and still have a lot of love and respect for ballet and um, fascination with this sort of um, combination of this great beauty with a very, very dark sort of underbelly to how it's all created. I mean, it's so, um, so vicious on the body and yet you never see it. It's like you see this beautiful, image and underneath it is some really, really sort of grotesque um, detail. Who is that? Hey. You okay? You can't smoke in here. Well, I won't tell if you won't. No matter what I do here, how he edits it is ultimately going to be a big deal. And I trust him fully with my character because the character is a little funny. She's a little finicky at times. And so there isn't a right way to play her. Like you can't, you didn't, you, I didn't read the script going, oh, I got this character figured out. Like I know exactly how to play her because 
you can't, in every scene, she's very different. Every time you see her, she's very different. And so there's a couple of different versions of my character throughout the film. It's a little hard to explain, but that's the gist of it. But I trust that in Darren's hands. I don't know if I would have trusted in other people's. Is, is, he has a, some kind of a playful um, perversion, you know? He's, he has like that, that kind of uh, shady and, and, uh, and edgy visual uh, taste and, and uh, sense of humor and all that, but it's always playful. You know, it can be dark, but it's never negative. You know, there's something, something always very... Uh, um, it's full of life, you know, it's full of humor, it's uh, all these things. <laughs> ah! You bit me? I can't, I can't believe you, you bit me! I'm sorry. It's a very cruel world. It's very hard. Dancers, it's like being a monk, you know, it's like, it's not something you do for money, it's not something you do f to be healthy. It's something you do, it's, it's a vocation, you know? It's like, it comes to you and you say, I gotta be a dancer, I'm gonna suffer for like 20 years. My feet are gonna be ruined. I'm not gonna make a lot of money. I'm not gonna be able to eat what I want, but I'll be dancing. <laughs> you gotta be crazy. But it's beautiful for what it is, you know? It's, a, it's such a, you know, it's an art form. It's, it comes from the past in a way, you know? And I don't know, there's something very, I think it's very touching, you know? Get warmed up. No, it's okay. I'm good. What's interesting about the ballet, and what people don't really think about it, because most people think pink when they think ballet, is it's actually, m most ballets are really tragic and scary and gothic, and there's demons and monsters. And uh, when you translate that into cinema, you know, you can start to do some really scary, frightening, unsettling things. Det var alt, hvad vi havde på programmet i denne udgave af Films TV. Husk, at du snart kan læse anmeldelsen af Black Swan og ugens to andre nye premierefilm på Films. Og husk også, at du stadig kan deltage i vores eksklusive konkurrence om en Black Swan-plakat generet af Aronofsky. Du kan læse mere inde på vores hjemmeside eller på vores Facebook-side. På gensyn. Husk selvfølgelig, at du kan læse endnu flere artikler og anmeldelser på hjemmesiden, som du også kan diskutere i vores omfattende online-forum.